Doctor Who What's up my Whovian homies, I am the Doctor Who Kid and it is finally time to look at The Timeless Children They said everything was going to change and they weren't lying First of all, the Master takes the Doctor back to Gallifrey traps her in a paralysis field where he can plunge her mind into some sort of matrix containing the consciousness of all the Time Lords who ever existed in order to find out the truth behind the Timeless Child And we'll get to that in a minute First of all, the rest of the cliffhanger So Yaz, Graham and the other humans escape through the air vents and find themselves in the cyber troop carrier room although one of them unfortunately do chooses to do the whole stay behind and get killed off method but how do they get off the ship without being shot at to pieces? Graham comes up with the idea to climb inside the cyber suits by ejecting all the organic components and climbing inside the empty bits of armor remaining which is a sound idea in principle but I can't help feeling there's some sort of flaw in the plan Cybermen only have one body type How is Graham gonna fit in there? He's... big But this does lead to a pretty tense moment where, where the lone Cyberman's wandering through the corridor looking at them to see if there's anything different about the Cybermen in there and we get to see inside the Cyber suits as Yas and Graham desperately try not to breathe even or make any noises Kind of feels like something Moffat would do Especially the whole telling your characters not to do something normal Meanwhile, the cyber carrier sends a bunch of troopers to take down the remaining humans on the Koshamas planet And speaking of Koshamas, won't you believe it? He's turned into some kind of explosives nut He has so many bombs and grenades and weapons and stuff just help make things go BOOM and it is AWESOME Plus Ryan gets to throw a bomb on like a basketball calling back to the first episode <laughs> Cute But eventually they get cornered in Coach Arthur's little shack Luckily they get saved by the humans in disguise Meanwhile on Gallifrey the Master's consciousness tell Calls the Doctor's consciousness the history that Gallifrey does not want anyone to know. A Gallifrey and archaeologist went off into the cosmos and found a child all underneath some portal thing. The implication being that it had been abandoned by the things on the other side of the portal. The archaeologist adopted the child, all took it home, and they lived a fairly normal life until the child happened to fall off a cliff. Hey, just like that Brendan guy! And the archaeologist despaired for the death of her child until it turned out that the child regenerated! Apparently, the very first regeneration to ever happen on Gallifreyan soil meaning that the Time Lords were not born with the ability to regenerate! This leads to things to turn nasty as the archaeologist begins experimenting on the child trying to figure out all the secrets of regeneration that she can including presumably killing the child a bunch of times because let's face it, that child definitely went through more than one life under those experimentations and eventually the archaeologist figured out how to give her self-regeneration becoming the leader of the first Time Lords and basing the timeless child's genome into the, into the genetic structure for all future generations meaning that the ability to regenerate comes from the timeless child but the Time Lords also impose the 12 life leaf limit into their children which means that the 12 life thing does not apply to the Timeless Child And who is the Timeless Child? It's none other than THE DOCTOR! Wow! This means that the roof... This means that the roof Doctor we met in Fugitive of the Jadoon was actually a pre Hartnell incarnation and there had actually been loads of other different incarnations long before any of the ones we met before but at some point the Doctor had their memory erased forgetting all about it presumably to maintain some sort of charade over how... you know presumably some sort of charade to make sure that the Doctor never thought they were anything special and were just an ordinary Time Lord since at this point they kept everything secret We also get hints explaining another plot thread of Fugitive of the Jadoon implying that at some point the Doctor was in this agency called The Division which are all about 
old which is sort of like a Time Lord Black Ops team, I guess? As we see the lady who put the bounty on the Roof Doctor. To explaining the rule, that the rules of the Division are like a... The Time Lords have this no-interference policy, but that doesn't work for every situation, which is where we come in. Officially, we do not exist. You know, fight club crap. However, the Master is also good at multitasking, because while her, his consciousness is explaining all this to the Doctor, he himself is making a deal with the lone Cyberman, exchanging to promise ultimate power uh, to help aid their cause. The lone Cyberman reveals that he's a new, he used the Siberium to fashion something called the Death Particle stored inside his chest, which he will use to extinguish all organic life in the universe and ascend the Cybermen to a purely robotic state making them much more boring than they would be otherwise, which the Master recognises. So he kills the lone Cyberman and takes the Siberian for himself, as you'd expect the Master to do. The Master uses the knowledge gained in the Siberian to enact a truly despicable plot and deed, converting the corpses of the dead Gallifreyans to create a new Cyber Time Lord capable of regenerating, meaning we're getting a truly unstoppable form of Cyberman! Wow, that's really starting to hurt now. The humans go on Gallifrey and are able to free the Doctor from the paralysis chamber. They blow up the cyber ship, retrieve the body of the lone Cyberman, who's been hit with the shrinky thingy, meaning he's like a, you know, this big now, but still has the death particle within him. And the Doctor comes up with a plan to use the death particle against the Master and the Cyber Time Lords, which would also kill herself in the process. As Yaz protests this, but the Doctor's adamant and leaves to go on their own. And soon the Doctor is holding a bomb with, with the lone Cyberman's death particle on it in front of the Master's face. He said the Master's like, go on, do it. And it's sink to my level, blow us all up and kill us all. Well, and of course this is the Doctor, so it eventually comes out that they can't do it. Although they do get really close. And then Koshama shows up to finish the job. Well, revealing he was also the person who sent the Siberian back in time to Mary Shelley's era in the first place, thus helping explain what was going on there. You know, just one last bit of connective tissue to help even things out. Well, so the Doctor runs into another TARDIS to escape. The Cyberman blasts Koshabas, but he still is able to press the trigger, unleashing the Death Particle on the whole of Gallifrey and potentially killing the Master and the Cyber Time Lords. Although, let's face it, this is the Master we're talking about. He'll have gotten out. So the Companions and other humans are back in the 21st century, not knowing what happened to the Doctor and whether she's still alive. And the Doctor himself has gone back to her own TARDIS and is finally taking a second to rest and, you know, take all this in. And then the dudes show up, teleport her off the TARDIS into some sort of prison and give her life sentencing, continuing on from, from the future of the Jadoom plot. <laughs> Why would you end it on a Christmas cliffhanger? Now we'll have to wait even longer to see it resolved! Wait a minute, the fact that there is a Christmas cliffhanger... Does this mean we're getting a Christmas special this year? Also, there's no next time, but we are given a title for our tease. Revolution of the Daleks. Well, that was the Timeless Children. Nice character moments. It's great performance from the Doctor and the Master. Game-changing twists that alter everything we knew, who while still keeping the core of the Doctor intact, I give the Timeless Children 10 out of 10 best Doctor Who episode ever! Well, I am the Doctor Who Kid, and I will see you one more time in to discuss the series as a whole. I'm the Doctor Who Kid and I will see you one more time. I'm the Doctor Who Kid and I'll- Okay, who is farting in here? What? What? What?